What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Paris and I make videos all about candle making and the starting and managing of my small candle business, Lady Simone Candle Co. I see you all out there trying to start your candle businesses this year. I am so proud of all of you and I always want to, you know, thank you all for sharing those um, milestones with me. But this particular video, I do want to talk about ways to save coins while still in the testing slash launching phase. I get questions all the time about the amount of money you're seeing yourself spend. You're not liking anything that you're purchasing. You got all this leftover supplies that you have no idea what to deal with. Look, I got you. I'm about to reel you in a little bit and give you some ideas on how to pocket more of your money while still testing and launching. So let's just get started. So I know when launching a candle biz, it can seem like money is just always going out the window because you're trying to test different waxes with these wicks, with these jars. And on top of that, you're also trying to overall design your brand, right? So that takes logos, look, business cards, a website, product pictures, a domain, the list goes on. So I've been talking to all of my Lady C fam out there and they're like, I just feel like I'm throwing money away. I feel like I'm being wasteful. And so I thought I would do this video to kind of give you some encouragement, like, look, here are some ways to help you scale back in the coins department while knocking that launch checklist out at the same time. And one of the ways is finding an all-in-one platform that can help you achieve a handful of those tasks all within one platform. That's always been one of my recommendations, like try to find something that can kind of kill multiple birds with one stone, right? So shout out to Taylor Brands for sponsoring this portion of the video. From logo to full business, launch your candle bids with ease as Taylor Brands is that one-stop shop to make your logo, apply for an LLC if you choose to, design your branding package, a website, a domain, business cards, social media tools, and more. Yes. So talk about saving some coins by not having to go to so many different sites to get these items checked off. And I try to encourage beginners that are trying to launch their candle biz, start small. Like it's okay to start small. As more coins become available, then you can take your brand to the next level. You can do a little branding facelift. You can elevate a little bit. But in order to save money, you need money and you need all the money you can in the beginning trust me and taylor brands is a great way to start so i thought i would do this demo because i've been playing around with taylor brands i've been actually re um branding lady c's digital h q um, most of you are followers on that instagram account and facebook page that's where all of my freebies come from my courses and all that good stuff so i thought i would give taylor brands a try because i'm trying to save some money i don't want to have to pay anybody else right now um, so if i can find an all-in-one place to make that happen i'm definitely going to go that route and so i wanted to show you all a demo it's really really cool I am just going to do a quick, I'm going to just make up a candle company to show you all all the things you can do within this one platform. So we're going to do Serene Candle Company. Let's do Serene Candle Company. There's probably a candle company out there called that too. <laughs> um, you can definitely add a tagline right here if you want to. So things, so, you know, like mine is about um and you know empowering women to you know take mental health seriously so any type of tagline that goes along with your brand or your candle company or anything that you stand for you can definitely add it here um so let's go ahead and click start for free And so what are you offering or intend to offer? So here, from a candle business perspective, it will obviously be physical goods. So you would click here. This helps them kind of customize um, your branding package for you. So your industry, let's see if they have any. Yeah, they have candles here. So candles will be, so tell us more about what you do so we can help create better designs for you. So here, I would probably just put, or encourage you all to put something like 
um, I manufacture handmade, who can't type today, candles um, from my home and sell to customers um, interested in self-care and mental health. That's pretty much what I do. Click next. And so here you can pick a logo type. So do you just want an icon based logo? So for example, you have your business name, but it will come up with an icon to go along with your business name. Um, so this will probably end up being some sort of candle or something unique to help bring out that business name, or you can just create um, just a business name, just a logo just from your business name. So we're just gonna do name based. And then here, let's pick some styles. So here is something that I always stress to beginners to um, think about when they're designing your their brand. And this is a great way, Taylor Brands is basically trying to pull it out of you to think about what type of look and feel do you want your brand and logo to, to speak to people. Um, and this is important. I teach beginners this all the time. What do you want to convey? Who, who are you trying to pull in? Um, so I know for Lady Simone Candle Co., um, I love scripted fonts, very, a lot of elegance, but also modern and sleek and minimal at the same time. So I'll probably choose elegant, also classy, and maybe probably a little bit of, I'll probably throw this in there because it's it looks real modern here. So we got three types chosen and this is now them designing logo and your branding package for you. So look how easy and quick that is and look um, how you were able to do that yourself. I know trying to design um, your logo and your branding package seems very, very intimidating, but you just got to relax and take a deep breath and do the best you can to pull deep down and say, hey, what type of brand do I want to convey and, and represent? So I'm actually going to enter in my credentials here and then I'm going to come back. All right, here we go. So now on this left hand side, we have a lot of different options for the different type of logos they created on your behalf based on the style choices that you selected. So see how they came up with so many different logo designs. Like, I love that. That's actually quite sexy. That's sexy right there. Because you could take this. That could be your Instagram and Facebook logo right there. This is sexy, especially if you're trying to attract men as well. Black, you know, that's sexy. I love that. That's actually dope as well. And you can click to see more different ideas that they came up with. I love that as well. Ugh, I love sleek and modern. I think I'm going to choose this one for the sake of this video. And then if you already love it how it is, you can obviously click love it. But if these, if black and white are not your branding colors, then if you want to click um, here to customize it, you absolutely can. So this actually takes it a step further. So not only we already chose the style, but if you want to switch up the font to maybe something else, you can definitely scroll down and look at these options here. I actually love this. So we're going to keep that. Um, and then here is where you can customize your colors. So here are the different palettes and you can also, if you have a hex color or a custom color that you already love, you can definitely put that in here to customize it even further. First and second colors and you can play around with it to get the most of what you love. And so once you're done and you love it, you just click finished. I'm finished. 
and then it's going to take us to your um, branding package your entire account so here is where you can finish and complete your branding and business identity so you got your logo files here so here's where you can also to get your domain your business um, mailbox digital business cards are really in right now a lot of people are getting away from paper business cards so you could definitely do that if you're thinking about forming an LLC they have that option here for you here's where you can um, create your website so you know if you if you don't decide to if you're trying to figure out what type of website to host your business on here you can create that as well connect your domain like look at all this great stuff that they offer for your entire branding package so I would definitely recommend trying this for free and if you love it go for it this is one of the greatest ways y'all to save coins in the beginning when you're in that testing phase and you're trying to launch your business and your coins are limited which mine are look my coins I'm very stingy with my coins right now so I'm very cautious on what's going out I like to if I can find a way to keep it all in one place streamline everything that's the best way to scale your business in the future so definitely give this a try Another way is buy inexpensive supplies, raw materials, tools, and things you need while in this testing and launch phase. Look, y'all, just because you see your favorite YouTuber out there, your favorite um, candle maker or candle business owner on Instagram have all these inexpensive supplies and equipment and these extravagant, um, beautiful candle making studios, do not feel like that is how or where you need to start when you first launch your business. Y'all, I'm still in my kitchen cranking out batches of candles. I pack my stuff up there in our nice little loft <laughs> that I've kind of taken over. And then I have a corner little office space in our second bed, our third bedroom up there um, where I do a lot of my admin stuff. And then all the supplies and materials that I use, a lot of those started from the dollar store and Amazon. So do not be afraid or feel like you're, you know, don't have what you need to start because you're shopping the dollar store or you're shopping Amazon. Like I still get a lot of my things from Amazon. A couple examples is instead of buying um, like a 45 pound box of wax, start with like 10 pound slabs or bags of waxes especially when you're in the testing phase. So that way you get an idea on what type of wax you like, but you're not left over with a bunch of wax that you don't like. You can even go smaller than that and do like a one pound and still crank out several jars to test, right? Another way, talk to suppliers. They're there to help you. Get some recommendations on primary and secondary wicks that complement the wax and jars that you're loving. So that way you're not left with a 100 hundreds of wicks sitting there that you have no idea what to do with because it doesn't work with the the wick um i'm sorry the wax in the jars that you like right buy like 20 packs of wicks um you can even find a lot of the brands that candle suppliers provide on amazon and buy like a 10 pack or a 20 pack of wicks so that way you can test and not wait be so wasteful when it comes to shipping supplies check out your local um um carriers like usps ups typically they have free shipping supplies especially with boxes and mailers that you can use i used their free shipping supplies the first year and a half of my candle business for my smaller candles i went on amazon and used brown craft boxes where i can get like a 25 50 pack for like i don't know 20 dollars, right and it would last me depending on how many orders I, I would receive, but the majority, I would use free shipping supplies. Your tissue paper, get it at the dollar store, y'all. No shame, right? Those big sheets of paper, cut those bad boys in half and get twice bang for your buck. You know what I'm saying? Make your own thank you cards at home. Get on Canva or you can get on Etsy, which I love. And there's tons of Etsy creators out there that makes like, you know thank you cards candle care cards business cards all that good stuff and then just print it at home design it or redesign it in canva print at home on some cardstock that you can get from walmart or the dollar store like be creative 
in ways where you can cut back some coins. And that has saved me so much money because you forget when you launch your candle business, there's operating expenses that you still have to cover. Um, if you have a website, you have to cover that subscription, right? If you have to pay sales taxes, you have to, um, you know, you have to, you know, still pay your utilities. You know what I'm saying? The more that you're making candles in that kitchen, your electric bill is probably gonna, you know, right you're going to see an increase in that so there's things that a lot of new beginners don't consider when you're full-fledged launching right you got to buy your domain you have to do all of this stuff and that's why i am trying to show you guys different ways to find all-in-one packages or find different ways to shop and be more creative the last tip that i want to give is invest in education and i know that probably sounds backwards like you're telling me to save coins but you want me to invest in education let me hear me out the reason why i say invest in education or a mentorship or coach i've said this in several videos it's because get the knowledge about the candle business industry before or at least while you're in the testing phase um, so that way you can make sure that this is the industry you truly want to invest in. To make money, you have to have money. And so sometimes what we see on YouTube and Instagram looks amazing. I can do that. I definitely can make some side coin with that. But then once you get in the nitty gritty of it all, you become overwhelmed with the actual business operations side of it. And one of the things that I teach in my how to start a candle biz for beginners course is a lot of my students appreciated the fact that i reminded them to never lose the passion for the craft because the business stuff can and probably will get overwhelming so if you invest in education or some type of coaching that can help steer you to the right systems to the right platforms that can help save you money right um, that can also educate you about the candle business industry. That way you have kind of that prior knowledge and you know what's down the road. You know what to expect. You know what's ahead. I always say knowledge is power. There's always somebody out there that knows a little bit more than you and that can help steer you in the right direction. I don't care how much research you do. It doesn't it's not going to compare with just throwing your money to any and every platform, any and every type of supply or equipment when you haven't done the necessary research in the beginning. So make sure this is an industry that you want to truly dip your whole foot in, probably both feet. <laughs> Because a bit, as a business owner, you have a passion for what you're selling, but you also have to have that stamina, stamina and mentality to run and operate and grow a sustainable business. Whether it's candles or whatever other type of business you're thinking about doing, you have to have that mentality shift um, to grow, scale, expand, and take your business to another level in the future. So I really hope this was helpful. Um, my goal here on this channel is to not only educate and show you all the how to's and the behind the scenes and things that I'm doing with my business, but I truly have a passion with, um, you know, teaching what's not being taught, <laughs> what's not being talked about. Um, sometimes I wonder if these videos are like really hitting home. And my prayer is that I always can hit home with the videos that I, you know, put out there, but my, my passion is truly helping those candle makers with the reality of running and operating a business and not just the glamorous part you see on the Instagram reels and YouTube videos. I want to talk about what's not being discussed. So that way we can all help each other develop that willpower and mentality to build sustainable candle businesses. I care about y'all just that much. <laughs> y'all support me y'all have taken this channel and my brand to another level and so i want to help give back by showing you hey here's the stuff that you gotta really do to um get to where you want to go so i hope this video was helpful do not forget to check out taylor brands in the description box use code lady simone 40 to get 40 percent off taylor brands that is that all-in-one platform guys that can save you some coins 
and you can build your whole business suite and brand with them. So make sure you try it for free. Check that out, but also use my code LadySimone40. All of that information is in the description box below. I hope you have enjoyed this video and until next time, bye.